Okay, so we're now in part three of the of the billing statement invoice video. I still have the same file here, and like I was explaining in the previous video, I'm going to show how we can modify this table right here so that instead of having a payment column, we'll have a quantity column, and the quantity column will multiply the amount. That way we get a ground total in the balance field. So I'm going to remove row 16. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to clear this out just for right now. And the very first thing I'm going to do is under payment, change that to quantity. And I'm going to format this cell so it's no longer a dollar, but a number. And I'm going to select OK. Under type, we should change that out. I would say to actually no the type the type we're going to leave this here invoice number we would want to change that to maybe an item number because let's say this customer is going to be ordering products I mean that's the kind of invoicing system this would be better for now type we'll just say home decor item number we'll say item number 98765 We'll just call this some item. And the amount for this item is $4.99. Quantity, let's say customer wants to order two of these. Now balance is blank. That's because we we remove that right now. So to make the balance populate, we're gonna with this field activated, we're gonna click equals. And we're gonna click this field. F15. Amount. And then we'll do the times. In this case, I'm doing Shift-8 on my keypad, the asterisk, and then click the quantity field, and then select Enter. Hit Enter on your keyboard. The balance is now 998. Now, it's very simple to add an item. Simply click row 16, right-click, Insert, and we can do the same thing. Date 4-18-2012 put home decor and let's say item is 98789 some other item will be the description and let's say this item is 850 customer orders one and there you go we have the amounts populating on the right and then the grand total of 1848 information is still the same up here the amount due down here is 1848 which as we said earlier all this field is is adding all of these values found in table 1 is 1848 and these values are based off of the formula that we just entered right now which is the amount times the quantity so we can save this now you're probably going to want to have a blank template within this format so we can just right click on row 16, delete. Don't modify this field, leave this field as is, but you can delete quantity. Just click this field, hit delete. Under amount, hit delete. Just some item delete, item number delete, the type, and the date. We didn't touch the balance field because the balance field has a formula in it, which is amount has strict quantity. If we were to hit the delete key or the clear field or the clear button on this field, then we would lose that formula, but we want to keep that there. And you can change this back to enter statement number, enter my customer ID number. And then customer's name. So now you have this blank template with the updated table in the bottom. Just go to menu, save as, and name the file as you wish. In this case, I'll do it billing statement, modified, tabled. That concludes the billing statement video. Thank you for watching.